Good evening. Thanks for watching 10 News at 6. I'm Robin Wilhoyt. And I'm John Becker. Tonight, our investigative team is learning new details about the death of Lisa Edwards. That 60 year old woman died from a stroke in early February, just 36 hours after Knoxville police officers arrested her for refusing to leave Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. Late yesterday, the department revealed three of the four officers involved were disciplined. Investigators say they broke a list of policies, including unbecoming conduct, treatment of prisoners, and courtesy. Tenders reporter Grace King spent the last 24 hours reading the almost 900 page internal affairs report and explains what Knoxville police say was and was not handled properly. There are hundreds of pages of records and interview transcripts in this document. One of the biggest takeaways, investigators say throughout the course of their interviews, not one of them expressly stated any sympathy regarding Miss Edwards death. They wrote the way officers spoke to Lisa Edwards, showed disregard for her human dignity and life. Listen to me. This is the Lord's day. All I want to do is give me some coffee and some oatmeal. I'm not going to deal with your mess this morning. Officer Adam Barnett, who was suspended without pay for four days, told IA there are a few words he'd like to have back and that they shouldn't have laughed, but that he believes he represented the police department in the right manner and treated Edwards in a respectful way. Sergeant Brandon Wordlaw was demoted back to the police officer rank for his actions towards Lisa Edwards. He expressed frustration to IA about how everything was handled, saying he trusted the opinions of the security guards on behalf of the hospital and thought Edwards was faking her medical problems. He said he didn't think the internal review was fair and that he was getting death threats. The report also explains why Officer Timothy DeSasio made a traffic stop while taking Lisa Edwards to jail. He says he was following the transport wagon when a car in front of them began swerving and nearly hit the wagon multiple times. He says he knew immediately he had to get her off the road before she killed someone. By the time he got back to check on Edwards, DeSasio said she was very pale and didn't look like she was breathing anymore. He was suspended without pay for 10 days. Right now at WBIR.com, a full link to the full investigation for you to read.